So I am going to explain the process for testing the airlift pumps and the importance of this is because nobody has done it before and um, I um, will eventually get it completely done but you will by the time this is over you'll have some figures to go ahead and plan airlift pumps for all sorts of little things uh, in your garden or um, um, garden fish ponds whatever uh, anyway uh, I'm going to start uh, with these little videos thank you so there's about one foot uh, six inches of water it's got dye in it in this I have marks for the two foot mark one foot mark etc and this is eight feet from from the top where the water comes out seven feet six feet etc and I have testing three different sizes of pipes at different heights so I'm filling water in uh, between tests and seeing the changes so this pipe has just started at uh, it, this is at 100 litres per hour, this is 80. This did not work at 80, now it works at 100. And I will be able to clarify when all this is done, the best pipe sizes and the best air speeds for uh, uh, high lift, uh, low pressure airlift pumps. And this has not been done before, so it's it is tedious um, so I get testing 80 100 and the combined 180 per hour as the air speeds for all different heights from um, what is it, seven or eight inches of submergence all the way up to um, well, two and a half feet anyway work away thank you This is page three of figures, and page five of figures. So this is taking a while, but it has to be done. So here's my little arena 200. It is uh, one and a half watts, uh, 2.55 psi. So it's easily capable of pumping air down to the bottom of the barrel. These are my two little air lift pumps that I'm testing to see which one is better. And uh, the quarter inch looks faster. Um, but it's hard to say. Now in the middle I have a 5 16th pipe. And it's just a case of... Five sixteen will start up, and so we can compare these two as well, and that's the plan. So I'm going to put a stake here beside beside it, and I'm always going to be able to test uh, different uh, submergence uh, heights to see how it works with different submergences. But imagine this in a series of these in a well in uh, Africa, working from you know five. Uh, a few watts and you see the possibilities I think okay so this is the system I'm using um, we've got the uh, constrictions in here so it just means it's going to a smaller tube in here and that's the, really the thing that makes this airlift pump I've got the three different pipe sizes I'm testing I've got dye in the water so that we can see the airlift better and up here I just put little holes in made little tiny funnels from plastic up here and I don't know if it'll work it might work so that's the, the test and uh, there's quite a bit to be done So, um, this here 
is my results and I was trying to do them out by hand and it's just too tedious it takes forever and you can uh, this uh, I'm I haven't got the hang of the spreadsheet program but here's what we have so th the uh, I have uh, figures tabulated for the quarter inch the 516 inch and th the 380 inch pipe or tubing and the liters per hour at different submergence heights going to different heights so the actual height that it's going to depends on how low the barrel the rain barrel is because obviously you're going to be emptying water out of the rain barrel and increasing the height that it has to pump to as you empty the rain barrel so the total height is 7.6 feet uh, 2.34 meters but the, um, the um, where is it the, the actual lift uh, when it's low when it's only at uh, 31 centimeters which is about a foot of submergence is 2.8 meters so this is a, an important thing to uh, comprehend for um, doing the airlift uh, when you do it from a rain barrel um, your last foot of water it's going to be hard to get get it out of the rain barrel but excuse me there are other ways of of, of dealing with that so anyway uh, we're pumping all the time to 7.6 feet above the top of the rain barrel uh, 2.34 uh, meters so I'll just go into what's going on so as the submergence is increasing you're getting faster pumping and this uh, my my air pump is is uh, old so one uh, it's supposed to be do about 200 liters per minute but it's about uh, about or per hour but it's about it's over a year old so one side is down to 72 liters per hour the other is about 88 and the combined if you add them both together you get 160 so what I have done is um, um, there's uh, the 72 with the quarter inch with the 31 centimeters of submergence only does 2.4 liters per hour uh, 88 does 2.58 and when you combine them together you get 2.34 but if you add these two numbers together if you don't combine them if you're using two tubes you get 4.98 and we go down along the line uh, we're increasing the submergence all the time so here is two feet of submergence so we're up to 15 liters per hour from 4.9 as they uh, when you're using two tubes uh, you uh, if you're using only one tube um, with the combined air going to one tube you get 10.2 and uh, this the seven and eight the seven and a half for the 72 and the uh, 8.04 for the 88 so we go down again and now the maximum um, uh, submergence we have is 77 centimeters so that's uh, about two and a half feet of submergence so that's near the bottom of the barrel and we're getting uh, for each uh, tube there's not that much of a difference um, 10.2 11.52 and um, when you combine the air in one tube you're getting 13.44 but when you use two tubes uh, not combining the air you can get 21.54 so then we go down to the 516 uh, pipe and here we get um, um, it's slower at the the lowest submergence and then at the highest it's catching up and that's what's going to happen essentially 5 sixteenths needs more than 160 liters per hour of air so it, maybe it needs about 200 liters per hour of air because 5 sixteenths you multiply uh, it's actually the the area of the pipe that matters not the diameter and one quarter by one quarter if you square it up for the area 
you get um, oh, you, know, you square it for area anyway and uh, so for 4 s 16 and then um, or sorry it's it's 4 16 as opposed to 5 16 so for 4 is 16 so the square is related to 5 5 is 25 so it's 16 over 25 this one is that much bigger it's 25 over 16 um, it's considerably bigger in in uh, diameter in area so this is why it needs more uh, air to um, to run it and then we go up to the the three eights now the three eights is bigger again so that's six sixteenths and six six is thirty six so it is um for four sixteen so 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 this has twice the area of of the the quarter inch so it needs a lot more air and you can see that because at the lowest submergence um the the um it doesn't pump to the top it doesn't pump up uh, 7.6 feet so you go down to 53 centimeters so almost actually at two feet it's just starting so uh, it's just starting here with 88 liters per hour is just barely able to get it up to the the top and 72 will not work it and then then we get the the rapid increase in uh, in um, on the air like here 11 point so it needs a lot more air maybe it needs uh, 300 liters per hour to work the um, 3 8 tubing going to um, uh, 7.6 feet high now you got to realize that um, if you're only pumping two or three feet high this tubing might because there's a limit to how much air and water will go through this quarter inch tube so so uh, it might be that when you're pumping to four feet high this one might come out on top it's just because there's more room for the um, air and water to be pumped up so it's quite possible that and see even here it's it's beaten out the other ones with the combined total the 160 in one tube um, beats out the uh, the other pipe sizes anyway um, I've left a chart on long enough that you can s probably see some of the things that you can deal with and I will work on uh, the lift to submergence uh, limits the, the limits are um, I have them on the other video I have them on the first video from October uh, um, I've forgotten I'll, I'll put them on um, on this as well but there are limits obviously the limit on this one is shown it's um, you know this lift to submergence here uh, where is it Oh shoot! You know, for um, uh, height over some. Oh, it's lift to submergence. Lift to. So it's only about five is the limit here. See, so we go across here, and we go across. Uh, se um, let's see where are we? I'm kind of lost now. Sorry, <laughs> uh, but. 7.6 there's the uh, there's the limit that's close to the limit for lift to submergence for um, the 3 8 inch tubing so you're not going to get more than 7.8 uh, lift to submergence uh, 7.8 or sorry 7.6 times um, the um, submergence is the best you can do whereas if you're I have tested the uh, I can't remember now I think it's about 17 for the quarter inch and if you go down to uh, 3 16 inch I've tested that previously and I'm up to uh, 20 over 20 to 1 lift to submergence is the limit so um, all this stuff uh, will eventually 
get people very clear on what they can do with airlift pumps. So that's the goal. This is the start of it. Uh, thanks very much for your time. Uh, good luck now. Bye.